Use code WALLA for any advanced GG products for 10% off. Thank you. Hey, what's going on guys? Walla here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wizened Rebuke. This is a fusion rifle from Iron Banner and I had no hopes for it whatsoever because it's a very bad archetype for fusion rifles. At least I thought it was. This was originally supposed to be a 1000 charge time but they changed all 1000 charge times to 960 to help them out a little bit because it did take a long time to charge. And overall I can't notice a huge difference. 40 charge time isn't going to make or break the weapon but this thing is very consistent. For the rolls today we have successful war up which I would highly recommend because even though you have low ammo it is very strong for a long charge time fusion rifle and of course under pressure because we don't always have a lot of ammo most of the time we only have one or two bullets so this is always working which is a huge plus we also have projection fuse chambered compensator and a stability masterwork I would say a four out of five you don't need projection fuse but everything else is perfect looking at that handling and reload we're definitely going to need a fitting aspects for this video so I hope you guys enjoy and get ready to get blown away everyone who subs to the channel gets free 10 inches all right no fusion rifle kill for me but I do have a bunch of ammo now and I'm gonna warlock skate towards this guy Oh, that actually killed him. Holy shit, I had no hope in that working. <laughs> so lucky, dude. All right, a 34 damage. Okay, god tier damage. I'm not going to peek him. He has a sniper, and I have a thorn that's probably going to do only like 30 damage to the head anyways. He's dead. No one to use successful warm-up on, except some guy back here. There we go. Worked out. There's another one, but I don't have successful warm-up because I did end up switching weapons. That should kill him anyways, and I think someone's rolling up behind us. This guy has a shotgun. We're going to snap. No tag. We're just going to keep it going. He is still chasing, though. Really bad dodge. And I'm probably dead. Not yet. Not yet, but I probably will be now. Still not yet. <laughs> what the fuck? On my left. He didn't make it. I'm going to put a rift up for classy restoration. Slide this with a fusion rifle. He missed a snipe. There we go. Yo, this is actually... This is actually pretty good. I have a nade. I'm going to read challenge. Oh my god. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Not bad. I know someone's watching me. Oh, there he is. Do I have a bullet to work with? I do. I didn't I didn't realize I reloaded it already. I'm going to challenge. He's close, but not... Oh, he is actually point blank. There we go. And I do have successful warm-up to work with as well. If I can just get it to proc here. And that guy has blink on hunter. Okay. No, mother... F what the fuck? Dude, how unlucky. I just got the most unlucky sequence ever in my entire Rumble life. I've never gotten spawn camp like that in Rumble. Like, it happens, obviously, in the game when you play Control. But Rumble? I don't know, man. Okay, you got three more seconds. Anybody? Someone's top left. I don't want to get sniped, though. There is a sniper in this lobby, surprisingly. I don't run into too many snipers in Rumble. This is the guy in second place, middle. He's going for heavy. And he did get it. That actually sucks a lot of ass. Gallerhorn on me. Kill this guy. Heal up. Turn around. Successful warm up. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Not, not bad. Really, really not bad. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with this. Oh, yo. It's going pretty good. I like this a lot. I might actually pop a rift down here. Uh, a uh, well of radiance. Sorry. Here we go. I hope this guy just challenges middle. He's not dead to me. That sucks. And I have no more ammo, which I'm not surprised about. Can't kill me in here. I'm sorry. And that'll be... Oh, wait. I need two more kills. What am I... What? I thought that was GG. Okay, he's dead. And we just need one more kill. We should go for the fusion rifle kill here. There we go. Hey, not bad. Not bad, boys. Not freaking bad. I will say. That's pretty damn good. This is better than the rapid fire fusions. I'm not kidding. Listen, I know you're bored and you probably got nothing to do, so why not join the Discord? Discord.gg slash walla. Okay, thank you. Bye. My man. He didn't really have a choice on what to do. Oh, nice movement. I think he scroll wheeled towards me. You don't run into a lot of people using the scroll wheel method. I could be completely wrong. And he could not have scroll wheeled, but it looked like he did. Wither Horde's dead. Nice. A lot of uh, fusion rifle kills. Oh, I thought I had uh, successful warm-up proc. That guy's going for heavy ammo. 
This guy is a shotgun. If I push, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fake the jump. Now I gotta back up because the guy that pulled... He pulled the fusion rifle ammo. Probably linear... Oh, he actually pulled 1,000 voices. I just heard it. Okay, I'm gonna back up here. He had chaperone. Good call to back up there. If I didn't, probably would have died. I have thorn perk as well. Someone's challenging through middle. And I know someone's gonna spawn behind me. That's the chaperone, dude. It's kind of dangerous. Okay, there we go. I managed to break the wall and get a kill. I didn't really know what to do there. I didn't want to push up towards the guy I was shooting from spawn. Because he did have chaperone. Some guy spawned here. Waiting for him with thorn perk. Should be a free kill. Oh, I was looking for special ammo. That's why I didn't bother using my fusion rifle. I could probably use my fusion here, though. There we go. Oh, absolutely one HP. I'm going to grab thorn perk challenge. I knew he was there just on my radar. He did blink a little. And now I'm just going to crouch and wait for this dude. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, uh, I think this is okay. It's honestly not too bad. You could probably get away with not using uh, successful warm-up. Although I think successful warm-up might be the play. Because it is a very sl slow-charging fusion rifle. But there is iron grip on this thing. It might be useful. It might not be. I think the recoil and the stability is already so good without it. And the fact that you're going to be reloading your guns so often, maybe you don't want iron grip, but it's just uh, some thought. You could put some t thought towards it. Yeah, maybe maybe not, actually. that That is so, so good. I'm going to challenge this. I'm going to plop a rip, or a well, sorry. I was debating on whether I wanted to use it or not, because I didn't know who it was in front of me. Now I'm going to push up. Oh, he's actually really, really far out. I was hoping someone else would spawn back here so I could get an easy kill in my well, but that's not the case. I'm going to have to push up instead. This is the chaperone guy. He's going to come right at me. Dead. It's pretty obvious. He's been doing the same thing all game. I don't think I'll be able to take advantage of a successful warm-up. That's okay. We should be able to get this last... Oh, you know what? Let's back up. We're going to get sandwiched. And I'm dead. Oh! No! Okay. <laughs> he almost got me with that. Where did the Yoen come from? No one was using Yoen this entire game. I didn't realize I had heavy ammo when I died. I could have definitely used it to get around the map quicker. Sometimes I just don't even realize it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. And to be real with you, that was one of the most consistent fusion rifles I've used ever since all the nerfs happened. Whether it's S tier or not, I think the charge time definitely holds it back. But I would definitely still give it a go. Thank you guys again. And like always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.